Hello, you guys. And if you can't tell, uh, I think this week we might be using every single one of my green art supplies. What we're going to do, just like per most videos of this caliber, all the supplies I haven't used will be on the left side. Um, I went ahead and did my pre-sketch off camera as I usually do because I get nervy. Um, and the only I only used this pencil. And then I will be allowing myself one white material and I'll be using the white Bosque pen. Alright, so I'm going to start with my like most opaque things. Uh, I want to start with the background and I think I want to use my washes back there. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of these in my palette. Um, also, I swatched out all of my greens and the two darkest tones of green I have are this gouache and this colored pencil. So those are the nearest to black I have. These two colors are very similar. I'm not trying to do anything super special for this background. Kind of want to give it a foliage like texture. I guess I want to start the hair because then the flower crown is going to go on top of it. So, you know, when you're painting, you got to work back to front, not front to back. So, I want to do a coat of Copic markers for the hair. One of my favorite things that I learned from my last um, video like this where I did all pink art supplies is I, I really love the way um, colored pencils went on top of the Copic markers. So I think I'm going to do that again today. Oh, that means we can move this bad boy to this side. And then I think I want to go in with my Copic one and darken up some of the darkest spots. I think it really helped here and there. That means now I can go in and do some even more defining. Here's a pencil. I guess I kind of want to come in with like a lighter color. kind of want to give us some Right here. Alright, we used those two colored pencils now. Ink out of my watercolor pencils. Got these. One. We're just gonna kinda put this a little bit of everywhere. I get really impatient with watercolor, which is like last thing you want to do with watercolor is be impatient. <laughs> so we need that to dry before we're gonna really go in and do any more. I guess I kind of want to go in and play around with the eyes real quick. I think I want to take my darkest glitter pen. It's actually a metallic like emerald color. <laughs> it looks creepy right now. I'll use a second metallic gel pen in a slightly lighter color. And at the bottom, and just those two glitter pens. Hash out. Oh, I really need to wait for that to dry. I get so impatient with watercolor. This one I used earlier. There we go. It's just a slightly more intense highlight. Where did I use this? Oh, I used my. I used that to do the sketch. This darkest color pencil. Do a little bit of fine lining this top of the eyelid. You'll see me reaching in on it. I feel like this is a pencil I'm going to be using a lot. So just expect me to continue to use it. <laughs> okay, coming in with the dark watercolor pencil. Let's see if it works this out. There we go. shading in there. We have a lot of markers left. <laughs> Not one of my sure what I'm going to be doing with those. I'm going to take this color and um, shade in the eye. 
fits the whites of the eye a little bit. I'm thinking I kind of want her lips to be a little more like this brighter green. Maybe just do like a layer of this, right? On top and bottom lip. Ah. And I like the idea of like, like more neon green. Like eyeshadow kind of. And then maybe like to continue that neon green thing is like we do the wing eyeliner. I'm gonna fill in where the eyebrows are. I really use this. Oh, I hate that, but now we gotta do it on this side. Um, going in with some color pencil, my last color pencil. Now I really wanted to give like a nice smoky look here. Alright, so this is what we're looking at still. Paint and glitter. Guess I gotta commit with these eyebrows being this color. Her necklace down here with this color. Those were the last of my Sharpies. Now all we have left are this acrylic paint. Um, two of my Posca pens. Uh, three glitter pens and glitter. So I know I'm gonna use these on the flower crown. Probably use that on the flower crown as well. And then this will go a little bit everywhere at the end. So let's use these to decorate this little medallion down here. Maybe a touch of this one in the eyes. Use this um, to do the individual eyebrow hairs. Definitely want to find the center line of the lip a little bit more. Every time I watch videos like this, there's always like one or two supplies that just get used a little bit more than the others. Alright, so I haven't used any new supplies in a minute. Just been continuing to work the face, um, which isn't the most exciting for you as a viewer. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my first layer of the flowers up above. So my plan of attack for this is to do like a base coat with this color, which is probably one of the more unique greens I have. It's called like mossy green or something. So most of the drawing is pretty detailed, realistic, and then this flower crown is going to be a little more abstract in a sense. So. That means we can move this guy to our pile over here. <laughs> Might end up doing another coat on that just because there's some patch patchy spots. But for now, um, I'm gonna go back down to the face <laughs> and do eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with this white Posca pen and give her reflections on her eyes. The paint has dried. I put a second layer on it too, just to cover some of the whiter areas. Um, I definitely was gone for a minute. I went to the gym. <laughs> so, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and refresh. We have two Posca pens, a glitter gel pen, and then glitter left to use. And that's all my, f my boy. I guess I'll start with the lighter stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just freehand in some flower shapes. Mm-hmm. And then 
A leaf. Um, I'm gonna start by ugh, keep touching it. <laughs> Darkening up some of the leaves a little. With some lines. Doing the darker Posca. Get some texture in here. Okay, I kinda like the way that looks, like coloring in one or two of the petal levels. And one of my favorite things is when flower crowns have uh, baby's breath in it, like just kind of sticking out randomly. So I think I'm gonna incorporate the glitter kind of with that in mind. I wanna make a few like stick like moments like boop bloop and then I'll do like little glitter baby's breath that will come off of them. Do some here. I'm gonna throw in a few glitter pen details with my last gel pen. A few dots here and there would look nice. Maybe even doing a couple of those like on the face would look really cool. So we want to do dots. I'm going to sprinkle it. Now, I was thinking about like individually picking up some of these to do freckles, but I feel like that might be incredibly difficult. So I'm just gonna go in with the <laughs> glitter gel pen. So when I'm doing freckles, I find that the best way to do it is like you have like a bigger one and then some like kind of light small ones next to it. A bigger one. And then some light small ones scattered about. If they have freckles on their face, they're more than likely to have some on their neck and shoulders. I'm pretty happy with that. Those do in fact glitter quite a good amount. We have now officially used every single one of my green art supplies. Um, I think there's a few final touches I want to do. I want to deepen up these eyes a little bit. In particular, the Beautiful. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that just does so much for it. It just added so much depth. I always think like, man, how would this drawing have turned out had I just only used one art supply that I was more comfortable with, you know? Um, that being said, I'm still pretty happy with it. Uh, to me, what really makes or breaks a drawing are the eyes, and as long as you have a nice strong eye, which I feel like these eyes look really nice, uh, it's easier to ignore the rest of it. <laughs> Not super happy with the glitter situation. But I mean, overall I'm really happy. I'm really happy with how her face turned out. I really like the freckles. Um, yeah. Cool. So that was me using every single one of my green art supplies. Uh, comment down below what you think the next color should be. I had a suggestion to do green on my last one, so I did green. We got a lot of other colors to choose from, buddy. Uh, so that's all. Thank you for watching.